Hello, it's been a long time coming. My name is Marwa and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, if it isn't, welcome back. So just for some context, I am no expert, I'm not a writing professional. I'm just a woman with a pen. Here's a plug to my friend's book, Qalam Fiat Imra'a, Ithar. I'm gonna either put it somewhere here and I'm gonna put it in the description below. So you better check it out, you better buy it. She's she's a genius. I'm basically here sharing my own experience with writing and what helps me personally for anyone interested. So, background story. Sometimes how you deal with things and how you vent is not something you usually address or think about because usually the response to whatever happens to you in your life is automatic and sometimes it just depends so something happened i call my friend consult her ask for advice something happened i cry it out until i feel better something happened i watch youtube or tv and hopefully it cheers me back up again what made this process less automatic for me is that i went through something in high school and when i did those automatic tactics that i'm used to practicing none of them worked and i was still in an all-time low what inspired me to try writing is i saw a lot of people on social media sharing their poems um i saw some of my friends doing that i knew i loved reading what they wrote i knew i related to a lot of what they wrote i knew i loved writing essays in school although these aren't comparable so why not so let's go through the four w's about writing one why write so there's many reasons to write you don't have to you can if you want to so one it's like crying it's good to let things out two to study yourself and the emotions that you have once i write something i can actually take the time to study it and take the time to really self-reflect on what i've been through and the feelings i've been experiencing three to play around with what inspires you creatively so a lot of people write because it's like a muscle that you practice. There are a lot of reasons for people to write. For me, it's basically the first two reasons. Who? Who do I write for? I'm writing for me. I saw when you focus on writing for yourself, you worry less about structure and rhyme and how it sounds. So maybe this has to do with the objective of you writing. For example, in let's say sometime in either high school or after. So at some point in my life, I used to focus on rhyming so much to the point that I would look up words that rhyme with each other and write a poem based on that. Yes. This made me exercise rhyming all the time and, and to the point that sometimes now when I write, sometimes, I would rhyme automatically. So it ultimately made me skew my focus to the person who would read the poem instead of the initial objective of me writing to me focusing on how people read things and how it sounded to other people. Wow. When to write? Short answer, anytime. So some people put a specific day to write. They would preserve some time in their schedule for writing purposes only. So I personally found it most helpful to write when I feel that I need to express myself the most. And it doesn't even have to be a sad emotion. It can be any complex emotion that you're feeling deeply. Love, confusion, insecurity, feeling serene, feeling content. Anytime you're overflowing with emotion. So, last one, what to write and what's next. So that overflowing feeling comes in play because whenever someone feels an intense emotion, they can easily come up with ways to visualize it. Because right in that moment, while you're experiencing it deeply, you can experience it through different senses. This pushes me to be as symbolic and metaphorical as possible. And when I don't know what to write exactly when I'm having a mental block or writer's block, in the beginning, I used to read The Kite Runner every time. I would flip to a random page, read some words, and get inspired because the wording and the expressions used there is so deep and metaphorical, symbolic. It's like, it's like reading a classic. Either that or two. That's something I do now a lot. I used to do it then also. I used to go to Hello Poetry and read the poems that are there because some stuff inspires me from that. Read. Watch a lot of videos about spoken word poetry. So I would go to, for example, Button Poetry or all these other 
spoken word poetry platforms and watch these videos. I would also read a lot of the poems that people I know or I'm friends with have written. So through these ways, I collect words and phrases and put them in my notes and basically compile them in a list. This helps me because words in and of themselves inspire me to write. They inspire me to use them and how complex and wonderful they are. If you guys want me to do a video about my favorite words and phrases because I have so many lists, please put it in the comments below. So you know when you're reading a book or you're reading a poem and you love a lot of the expressions and the metaphors used, I think it's worth it to collect those and keep them for when the time comes that you need to feel inspired. And put in mind, throughout all this process, it's not necessary that the poem is finished or complete. It's okay if it's unfinished. We're unfinished. A lot of the feelings that we have is unfinished, not because they're exactly the way they are, but because they can easily transform to be something else. So now, what's next? I've written something, I know what to use it for, and ultimately, I feel a little bit or a lot better. Put in mind, writing is only one way of dealing and the objective for me is to ultimately vent and self-reflect so I can go through life and situations in a healthier mindset. Because in the end of the day, this is for you. This ultimately should cater to your growth. There's no other step that should be taken afterwards. So the only reason that I share my poems is because this is my way of connecting to people. It's the same way that people share their songs, their paintings, their art. If you got this far, thank you for listening and sticking around. Please feel free to comment and share your thoughts and tell me how you vent to feel better. You can also share your ideas about what you want to see next. All right, that's it for now. Bye, aliens. And welcome back to my channel. Oh, darkness, my old friend. Testing, 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 testing. Second music video.